my first ever flight is happening in 36 hours and as you can see I am excited for it but at the same time just a little nervous because no matter how well training school has prepared me for my flights training and real life situations are always different so I'm preparing myself mentally and physically for the flight and also I have to do some research um, and find out some relevant information before I can operate on the flight um, in 36 hours I will be going for a turnaround flight which means I will start my journey in Singapore and then I will fly to Hong Kong I don't get off the plane and I come straight back to Singapore to have dinner with my husband at night what's in my bag a water bottle an extra pair of work shoes a black scarf in case it gets cold some homework and this is my extra set of uniform and some tissues more work shoes and a set of civilian clothes in case anything happens prepping my skin it's about less than 20 hours before the flight and I don't know a lot of things are going through my mind I think I'm going into a state of anxiety <laughs> I'm thinking about so many worst case scenarios that can happen on the flight but in actual fact I don't think it's gonna be so bad so I'm gonna try to refocus my mind let's do some yoga we have a sequence for anxiety. So this practice is awesome for when you're feeling stressed out or maybe you're feeling a little anxious, maybe a little panic attacky. When you do breaths here, as you now begin to integrate the spine, which is also connected to the fingertips back, reach, float down to meet the left. We come back to our lounge and then exhale, reaching forward. So this will look a little different for everyone. It might be here for you. Just set my alarm for tomorrow, 3 in the morning. My taxi will come at 5, so I'll give myself 2 hours to get ready. The time now is currently 6.45pm. And it's the earliest I've ever gone to bed. So I decided to just relax, put on a face mask and try to get a good night's sleep. Morning everyone. It's currently... Four in the morning and I spent about half an hour doing my hair I just ate my breakfast and now I'm gonna do my makeup and I didn't really have a very good sleep last night it was very disruptive I rolled around in bed for three hours from 7 to about 10 o'clock yeah, and I woke up at about 2.30 because I just couldn't sleep anymore. So I'm expecting to be super tired by the end of the day. Don't know what to expect, but let's get on with makeup. Time now is 4.25 a.m. My taxi is coming at 5 o'clock. So I have about 35 minutes. I need to change into my uniform, just finish my hair and makeup. And last minute checks my handbag and cabin bag. So I will catch you guys only when I'm back in about 12 hours. So excited. I'll see you guys later. Bye. I just got off the flight. I can't believe it. How many hours have gone by? About 12 13 hours has gone by and the whole flight lasted for about seven eight hours 
Oh, but it was such a crazy flight. So busy. Um, I hardly had time to even stop to rest. <laughs> Just feel exhausted now and really eye-opening and I learned so many things from the experienced senior crew. And um, so far, I really, really enjoy it. And I can't wait for my second flight. I really enjoyed meeting with all the passengers and smiling, chatting with them. It was so enjoyable just to interact with people. And it was so genuine and nice. And this is, I think this is the main reason why I joined the airline as a cabin crew. It is to interact and talk to people. And that really gives me a lot of joy in life. And I can't wait for my next flight. Thank you for joining me in my journey to my first ever flight in my life as cabin crew. Hope you enjoyed my video. Bye!